Hello, I'm Bruce Evans. I'm the EVP of Talent Analytics Data at MZ. If you've never heard of MZ before, we're a firm of about 200 folks who are located up in the Pacific Northwest, right on the Idaho-Washington border. A bunch of data scientists, economists, programmers, and others who spend our time thinking about labor market data. What we do is put together data sets that help you understand all 160 million jobs in America. We start with the foundation of government data sets. We take a whole bunch of those and we put them together every quarter to tell the story of those jobs. What professions are people working in? What industries do they work in? What sort of compensation do they have? On top of that, we're gonna layer in job posting data, so we're going to scrape postings from across the web every night to help you understand what the competitive environment is in any market. And then finally, we're going to layer in uh, professional profiles to help you understand the details on workers in those markets. So where we get a broad understanding from government sets, profiles help us understand specific skill sets, what companies people work for, and all those type of details. So why do we pull all those sources together? What we found is that while no individual source tells the complete picture of the market, you really can't understand it all just from job postings or all just from profiles. By layering all three together, you can really get the full picture of what's going on in the market. One of the ways our clients can use our data is to identify hidden pockets of talent. For example, we had a client out of Denver who was attempting to fill positions for dental hygienists in their Denver office. And this was a challenge for many reasons. One, dental hygienists have an incredibly low unemployment rate. And two, Denver is a market that is a challenge to recruit in because the cost of talent is so high. So using MZ data, they were able to identify pockets of talent within New Mexico where supply was high, demand was fairly low, and the cost of talent was a little bit below average. So they were able to then recruit from this, this market into Denver and fill 75% of their open positions that they had been previously unable to fill. It's becoming increasingly important to plan ahead. Just like you would measure before you cut, you need data in your strategy before you make a decision based on those resources. So in talent acquisition and recruitment, that's what data can do for you. It can help you plan ahead so that your decisions are going to be founded in actionable intel. If you have any questions or want to learn more, feel free to visit our website at economicmodeling.com.